Hi, Norm Norlander here. You know, I'm often asked to do some sort of starter flies for those just getting going with their with their new Norvice. Now, this is a great pattern. It's to you know to to master some of the simple basic fly tying techniques, and it creates a pattern that we're really works. I mean, this thing will catch quite a variety of, of fish. Now, this fly uh, pattern was uh, recently featured as a beginner fly by a fellow named Mike Hogue. Uh, he's the owner of a uh, fly shop in New York State called Badger Creek. The idea was a simple but yet effective pattern featuring a marabou wing. And you could do this with an endless variety of colors. Uh, it works pretty good. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we've got here, and then I'd like to show you how to create one. Now we're going to be doing this on a size number 8 streamer hook. Pretty much your basic uh, streamer hook. It's about uh, 3x long. And we'll set that in there so it's pretty well centered, ready to go. I'm going to be using some black thread. It's just 6 aught thread. We're going to start up here at the front by leaning down our, our foundation. Now, leave a little bit of room between the eye of the hook and where you start the thread. It's pretty important. Okay, so we're going to lay that thread base down. You can just give the vise a spin if you want to go beyond the point of the hook. Just reach in here with your bobbin and keep on going. I'll come back a little ways. We're going to put a red tail on this. We're going to use <coughs> the uh, one of these uh, red feathers here. The ones along the side, uh, like this, these are called spade hackles, and they're different than the ones in the middle. Those are the little dry fly hackles. Spade hackles are much wider. Uh, if you see the, uh, the fibers on here are quite long. It works great for making tails. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to strip off a few. You just grab them here, like so. Yeah, that's about right. Now swing around, hold them by the tips. Okay, we want a tail that's about half the length of the body. So we'll start up here with a just a soft loop. And then you just spiral back, like so. Work your way all the way to the back of the hook. There you go. Just perfect. Next, we're going to lay in a piece of Mylar tinsel. Now, most of these tinsels, uh, like we have here, are two-sided. One side's gold and one side's silver. So you only have to buy one spool of tinsel and you got it covered. Clip off a little piece. If you want the rib to be gold, we'll lay, tie it in with the silver side up. Uh, you'll see real quickly that when we start to wrap that, it flips over. So we've tied in our tinsel. This little spring, that's called a garter spring, uh, that comes on your Norvice, and that'll keep your uh, ribbing material out of the way. So now you can run that forward, and you can see how everything's laid down nice and smooth and tight. We're going to use dubbing for the back end of this thing. And uh, what I've got here is, uh, this is a, a rabbit fur. It's got a little bit of Antron mixed in with it. You really don't need that, but uh, yeah, it gives a little sparkle. So take a little pinch of bunny fur out of the box like this. Now to start your dubbing, hold it right up here at the eye of the hook. Don't try to start it out here. But right at the eye of the hook, it'll catch a few fibers like this. And then you just feed it onto the thread. And see how nice and easy that goes on there? It just beats the heck out of making loops and using wax and all that stuff. Now you pick up your dub thread here. And we'll just, I'm going to use my uh, little turning arm there so I can work this all the way back to the very back of the hook into the gape of the hook. There we got it. And then we'll come forward like so. So you can see that most of the body there is going to be that nice bright yellow uh, rabbit fur. If you want a little bit more, pretty easy. Just take a little bit more dubbing like this and repeat the process. Just spin it on pretty easy. And then we'll just take and roll that right on here. So now we've got about two-thirds of the uh, length of the hook covered with yellow dubbing. Next we're going to put our rib on there. So we pull this out and you just hold this. And now when you turn it, the gold side will be up. Pretty slick, huh? 
you practice that a little bit, you'll find it's really easy to do. So you get a nice, smooth, even rib. Clip that off of there. And the front half of this little beauty, we're going to use some black dubbing right there. So again, I'm going to lay my bobbin up here. We'll take a little pinch of black dubbing like this, just like we did with the yellow. Start at the eye of the hook. You see how nice and easy that goes on there? Beautiful job. Okay, now see it kind of loosened up when I let go. If you want your dubbing tight, simply pinch the end, and when you spin your Norvice, see how it just tightens right up? You have those guard hairs popping out there. That's pretty slick. Okay, so we're right up there. Still have plenty of room to tie in our wing. Okay, now for the wing on this little beauty, we're actually going to use marabou. Uh, these are called blood quills. Now there's two ways of doing this. One is you can take and pull this down and use just the tips of the marabou, like so. I don't like that. It looks like a paintbrush up there. So what I prefer to do is I'll take and I'll strip the marabou off the sides here. Get a couple chunks like so. Doesn't have to be terribly even at this point. Okay. Now don't cut that with scissors. Take and break it off like this. Okay. Now, see you got a nice marabou plume there. About the right amount of feather. You want to lay this in so that these tips are pretty much even with the tail. Just come around here, make a couple nice firm wraps like so. You might want to lay in a half hitch there, and then you can pick up your scissors and we'll trim that off. Okay, that's pretty good. Now for the overwing, I'm going to use a, a little bit of black marabou. Same sort of thing. We're going to take and pull off a couple pinches like so. There we go. See that, guys? Lay that right on top. Come up here. Take a few nice firm wraps. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And again, slide in there, trim that off. Okay. Now, we want to put a head on there. Yeah, so I got just a little bit of a quill sticking out there. Yeah, get rid of it. And I'll show you a neat trick. What you do is you take a little piece of rubber tubing like this and you leave that on your bobbin. Use that as a hackle guard. You can push that marabou wing back out of the way and now you can go ahead and finish up your head like this. You can spin it up with a vise or you can lock the vise in and do it manually. You know, whatever, however you choose. Okay, there we go. Got a good firm head on that thing. And then we'll finish it off with a whip finish. Learn to do this with your fingers, guys. You can use a tool, I know, but once, you, once you've done that, it makes the tool obsolete. When you get through, you push that little piece of rubber tubing. That's your hackle guard. You can just leave that on your bobbin all the time. Come off a thread. Okay. Now that's pretty good, except we want to use some head cement on it neat trick. Next time you get a chance, get yourself a couple soda straws like this. We'll cut a little piece of soda straw off of here. You push that over your fly. That'll keep that marabou out of the way. So now you can use your head cement. Uh, this is fingernail polish. Uh, Sally Hansen. It's a something most of the fly tires like uh, to use as a head cement. Uh, works pretty good. And uh, so you put it on like so. Put the cork back in the bottle, guys. And uh, you're pretty good to go. Now we're going to let that head cement dry before we remove the uh, soda straw. But when you get through, it's going to look pretty much like that. Kind of neat, huh?